Hi guys, I'm going to recommend again Florida McKee's channel and the Gray Zone for the truth about what is taking place in Venezuela. I'll start this video with some truth on Fox News reporting on what is taking place in Venezuela. Anya Parampil is a reporter who just spent a month in Venezuela reporting from the ground there, and she joins us here in studio. Anya, thanks very much for coming on. Thank you so much um, for inviting me. So what do you what do you make of the news coverage of this? Your viewers won't be shocked to hear this, Tucker, but the news media, the fake news media, are lying about the situation in Venezuela. Let me put it for you this way. Imagine if Hillary Clinton had refused to admit defeat after losing to President Trump in 2016 and banded together a group of 24 U.S. soldiers and attempted to take the White House by force. I don't think she'd be walking freely on the streets the way Juan Guaido is walking right now in Caracas. And I certainly think the news media would be calling it rightfully a coup. And let me just tell you, when it comes to what's happening on the ground there, I can tell you, I was there for a month earlier this year. The opposition has no popular support. Juan Guaido proved today once again that he will only ride in to power on the back of a U.S. tank. And what's more, we hear about a humanitarian crisis there, Tucker, but what we never hear is that is the intended result of U.S. sanctions which have targeted Venezuela since 2015, sanctions which, according to a, a report that was released just last week by the Center for Economic and Policy Research, has led to the deaths of 40,000 Venezuelans and will lead to the deaths of thousands more if these sanctions aren't overturned. President Trump, if he truly cared about the American or the Venezuelan people and the American people for that matter, he would end this disastrous policy, he would end the sanctions, and he would look into John Bolton's eyes, into Elliot Abrams' eyes, and Mike Pompeo's eyes and say, you are fired. You are leading me down a disastrous path, another war for oil, <laughs> something the president said. He you was, are passionate. He was celebrated by the American people when he said Iraq was a mistake, and now he's willing to do it again but you know I I have a problem with people who laugh at people who are uh, passionate and discussing something that well what does it reflect that she's discussing a whole lot of suffering going on in Venezuela um, but uh, thank you Tucker Carlson for actually interviewing this woman because you know Mainstream media, 0% of U.S. corporate media commentators oppose regime change in Venezuela. <laughs> what did we see with the lead up to the invasion, the Iraq invasion? That shock and awe. What, 97% of mainstream media commentators were, yeah, <laughs> applauding war. Well, this was written. Uh, maybe before the person saw this um, segment on Tucker Carlson. You know, it's so funny because when I was, well, not realizing that I was in my isolated bubble of liberal, liberal progressive Democrats, oh, I believe that Fox News was the lying network. And yeah, that... Uh, MSNBC, CNN, oh, it's embarrassing to admit, but it's true. When you're in your bubble and you got all of those people in the bubble with you and you're all supporting one another and you're all with your arrogance, you're right, you're the smart one and everybody else is wrong, I don't have to look into anything because I'm smart and, well, I'm right because everyone in my little bubble says I'm right. So, when I came out of my bubble and I started watching some of these, you know, segments on Fox News and I thought, wow, it's actually Fox News that has a little bit of truth. Now, are they uh, independent? <laughs> are they outside of mainstream media? No. No. You have to wonder how Tucker Carlson gets to put up these... Uh, to broadcast this because the divide and conquer wow well isn't it interesting though you have mainstream media all all with Trump on what's happening with Venezuela 
and then you hear the Trump supporters saying, it's mainstream media. They're always attacking Trump. Oh, but they're with him on war, on invading countries, on toppling uh, governments, regime change, and that's exactly what you have going on right here. You know, it's also interesting. Uh, my bubble, my social network, we all knew that Bush and Cheney were lying. We all knew that that invasion going into Iraq, it was all for oil. If we didn't know right then, we sure did find out soon enough. Oh, but then Obama comes into office. Then I find out my friends are just cheerleaders for their team. They did not care about the truth. Try to talk to them about what Obama was doing in Libya. I don't care. But they may as well have just said that. Now we've got the Trump supporters, the quote-unquote awake Trump supporters who don't care about the truth. They're cheerleading for their guy. We absolutely live in an open-air psychiatric institution. It is an insane asylum. That, that's what we live in. And unfortunately, it's the, the, the part of the asylum that's all locked up because so many Americans have such a violence in them. Oh, even those who feign like uh, gentleness and you don't care what your country is doing to other people around the world. You've got a violence in you. But now you're showing you don't even care about what's happening to your fellow Americans. Yeah, care is not selective. Truth is not selective. Most Americans really, they revel in delusion. They love it. They love it. So I will link below to these two channels as well as link below to everything might want to check out this video. Max Blumenthal debunks corporate media lies about Venezuela at United Nations. And here we have a United Nations rapporteur who went down to Venezuela. All these people were actually in Venezuela for a period of time. Oh, they have a lot to say about what's happening in Venezuela that you will not hear on mainstream media. Donald Trump, I am monitoring the situation in Venezuela very closely. The United States stands with the people of Venezuela and their freedom. Bullshit, okay? We all know it's bullshit, right? We don't stand with any people. What we're about is stealing the resources of countries. Now, how is it that you could believe that we went into Iraq for oil, Syria, uh, Libya, but suddenly, suddenly we're going to be caring about the Venezuelan people, P Americans can't see this, as yet another, uh, it's just a different uh, country, you know, with a different name, but same narrative, over and over. I love the repeats. You know, I'm surrounded by Americans who pull me down every single day, and I've got to do an awful lot of work to stay up, and I am so sick of being around this kind of energy. You know, people walking the low road, they don't want to be lifted up. They want to they wanna bring you down to their level. Be like me, sick, mentally ill, immoral, not caring. Be like me. Well, I can't do it, you know, and I am disgusted more and more every single day with what our country is doing not only to people around the world, but also to our fellow Americans. Look at how many Americans are getting destroyed by this fabulous economy. You Trump supporters actually believe the horseshit? I'm great. Look at this economy. I did it. I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm Donald Trump. You listen to a narcissist every single day? The awake Trump supporters. 
no, I'm, I'm done with all of you. I've asked so many times, what do you think about Trump with what is going on in Venezuela? I get no response. Yeah, there's so many Americans, whether they're awake or sleeping, they love their delusion, they love their lies, and they're going to stay in it because they're comfortable. So the self-centeredness, the, the stench of self-centeredness in this country is disgusting. The Troika of Tyranny, Nicaragua, Cuba, Venezuela. Then you hear all of this horseshit, mainstream media, socialism, socialism, socialism. Nobody talks about the sanctions, right? Yeah. That's what destroyed Venezuela's economy. The sanctions, U.S. sanctions, crippled them. But now, yeah, I'm just going to go with all of the lies. I was on a Twitter page about Venezuela, and it thoroughly disgusted me how sick Americans are. Yeah, this is the lying country. We've all been indoctrinated in the lies. We've all been saturated in the lies. Well, guess what? It only means that a whole lot of us are walking the low road and we have to face the truth of who we are as a people. Otherwise, we'll get nowhere. Nowhere. And this Twitter page of Trump's, Jesus, do you understand that you're watching a stage play the vicious personal attacks by mainstream media? No other president has ever endured so many. And that's what I get from the Trump supporters. They parrot back what Trump says. And they can't even just take a step outside and look. Maybe, maybe I am watching a staged play and Donald Trump is the star in the reality TV show called the United States of America. Americans are being so hurt financially. Yeah. You believe a narcissist? There's something wrong with you. You're mentally ill. So what do we have here? Pompeo threatens military intervention after Maduro declares victory over the attempted coup. Yes, this great Christian U.S. Secretary of State Pompeo says military action in Venezuela is possible if that's what's required. Yes, to help the Venezuelan people, to save those Venezuelan people from their dictator. Who else was a dictator? Assad. Gaddafi, Hussein, aren't you tired of it? Aren't you disgusted? Please, my God. You know, all I wanted was to find some truthful, honest people. Just to be around people who care about what is taking place and who don't lie. And I couldn't find them. So I, I live every single day having to pick myself up from the trash that I'm surrounded by. Yeah, it's harsh, right? Well, guess what? <laughs> you know what's really harsh? To watch all of what is taking place. The disgusting violence that takes place every single day watching more and more people suffering from the violence of those coming out of this country what is really harsh is to listen to people support a guy who you want to talk the swamp what did he put in the swamp the stench coming out of Washington, D.C. Now I can smell in South Carolina. That's harsh. And then you're surrounded by people who applauded. And this, this here, uh, Venezuela polls, CNN, BBC, off air after military vehicles plow into protesters. And yeah, we support <laughs> of the military. He said the armed forces 
are with us. His images, though, not evidencing that not by... Good. Why? Because CNN is lying. BBC is lying. Uh, this is an orchestrated coup attempt by the United States, by Trump, by Pompeo, by Bolton. Do you get that Trump installed all the neocons, some of whom were responsible for war crimes, like Elliot Abrams? I mean, I just, I don't know what to do. How do you, okay, you've got delusional people. How do you get through to them? You can't. We're dealing with severely mentally ill people. And I'm not talking about those in Washington, D.C. I'm talking about those who are walking the streets in your community. Yeah, 0% of U.S. corporate media commentators. Same old, same old violent clashes taking place. Yeah, you, you read this article, which I did, and I will link below. You can read it if you want. The planning of a coup against Venezuela? Chile, September 11, 9-11, 1973. The ingredients of a military coup. The imposition of a neoliberal agenda. This was written by a guy who was, in 1973, teaching economics at the Catholic University of Chile. I lived through two of the most brutal U.S.-sponsored military coups in Latin America. Chile, September 11, 1973. Argentina, March 24, 1976. And today, it's the Trump administration threatening to invade. Venezuela with a view of restoring democracy. I am so sick of listening to the United States spreading democracy, restoring democracy. Oh, how we care about the people when, you know what, we're full of shit. And a whole lot of Americans are right there, full of shit. They live a pretense. They lie to themselves. They're so delusional. They're so deceptive. Them their own self. You can't get real. You can't get honest. You can't get... Where are they? Where are they? Where are the real honest people in this country? Instead, we live amongst people who just betray all the time. And it's obvious Look at the Trump supporters, the, the quote-unquote awake Trump supporters. Great betrayal of all of us who regard the truth as sacrosanct, the truth. So now it's Trump. Yeah, and this is who he puts in, John Bolton. There were so many times throughout Trump's administration that showed you same old, same old. Okay, again, same old, same old. Oh, wow. Same old, same old. Oh, wow. John Bolton. Oh, you, you, you're certainly going to see this. No, because you're cheerleading for your guy and the truth means nothing to you. And I, going through this Twitter page, I'm like, oh, my God. The people of Venezuela continue to make it clear they are done with Maduro and are taking to the streets to loudly and unequivocally demand the return of their democracy. How do you listen? How do you... Ha, Mark Rubio, we have such evil people in positions of power. And so many Americans... Yay! What does that say about them? They're right there with them. Sick, deranged, twisted people who don't care about the consequences that so many people have to suffer. Mark Rubio. Every day the people of Venezuela face the threat 
of the Maduro regime. They roam the streets brandishing guns. That can kill with impunity. What do these people do? See, they talk about themselves. Understand, the narcissist, when they attack you and say something about you, they're saying it about them. They just can't face themselves. But they also have an agenda. Always have an agenda. How could any American believe that we are taking action in Venezuela to restore democracy there? How could they believe that when this has taken place in so many countries. Southcom monitoring the situation and it remains prepared to support all options when requested by senior leadership. We are working with partners in the region and are in full support of the diplomatic effort for a peaceful democratic transition of power. Regime change. That's what we've got going on. That's what we've had going on in, in uh, Central or South America. That's what we have going on in the Middle East. This guy is a despicable, disgusting, evil, lying uh, creature, subhuman. And we have so many Americans who support him. Hey, Juan Guaido, very brave. Really? You're a friggin' puppet. Very brave. Very brave. These people do not know what moral means. So anybody who supports them is very twisted themselves. Sorry, uh, you, you can't. Not at this point. What a brutal dictatorship in Venezuela. Huh. Fortunately, you do have some people here. Sanctions against Israel, not against Venezuela. Ben, come on. Uh, Israel, United States. I mean, you, you talk about tyranny. You talk about the access of evil. Oh, my God. I don't like living in such an evil country. I'm really having, I'm really struggling with it. And yeah, I face an awful lot going on here every single day. And I have really I just know one person who I see uh, very irregularly who is awake. Um but that's it. I'm surrounded by people who really do now, they're not conscious of it, but they work to pull me down. And I am sick of being around Americans who really don't care about anything. This guy, Michael Mulroy, we're in Syria for the long haul. What did he say just recently? <laughs> My God. Yeah. A uh, lot of oil resources in Syria. They're coming out and putting it right smack in your face, and yet you still have people supporting this? Elliot Abrams, Trump's special envoy for Venezuela? Really? A war criminal who was pardoned by Bush? Drain the swamp? This guy, Pompeo, all of these people are murderers, war criminals, and yay! Blackwater, back in Iraq. Oh, right, Eric Prince reportedly wants in on the Venezuelan coup and calls for 5,000 mercenaries to topple Maduro. And this is Donnie's boy, Eric Prince, who's been at the White House having meetings with Donald Trump. The private mercenaries are already hired, and they are working as the proxy armies of the United States, the Pentagon. They're in many countries, 
and that fighting that you see, you know, that Guido has decided, oh, our military just suddenly made a decision to stand with me, Juan Guido. Private mercenaries. Okay, well, look, I don't know about you guys, I am thoroughly disgusted. And, yeah, uh, you hear emotion from me, passion, call it what you want, but I am, I'm not one of the comfortable anymore. And you know what? You, you have that jarring experience. It leads, well, I'll speak for myself. It lead, it led me to reevaluate all of my beliefs and myths and to take a whole nother look at what this country is. And that's what every American needs to do really fast because we're going down with these psychopathic sick people and yes Mr. Donald Trump is one of them. How is it that people can just continue to believe liars? You got me on that. How is it that people can support trash? Evil trash? You got me on that. But it speaks volumes about those people you can get upset at me, you can, I don't care. I don't care. I'm tired of watching these repeats go on. Nothing ever changes. The neocons, Obama administration, Bush administration, Clinton administration, Bush administration, Trump administration. The only possible way that we can get anywhere with what is happening is for each individual oh yes we need it in the aggregate but for each individual to look at themselves square in that mirror and ask themselves how am I contributing to this nightmare and to stop contributing that's it we're getting nowhere fast. And that's, that's upsetting.